I love it, man. Oh, Lord. All right, let me, let me resituate some things here. We'll go into the Sasquatch after dark unless you got somewhere to be or something to dig. Bam. I'm the biggest Billy B. Craig. Look at me. I'll, uh, I'll, wait, I'll wait around a minute and see if anybody's got any questions. Right, we'll see. Let's get us all in here. Do my little invite thing. Copy the clipboard. Do this thing here. We're going to paste it over there. We're going to put it in the chat. And it should pop up as a functional link. Oh, yeah. Cheesy's all over it, man. All over. All over to death. I really do. Nice. You know, this is going to happen. Is that a functional link? I do believe it is. Now, anybody who comes in, remember, you either have to go one window back and close your YouTube so that you don't have a loop of vocals taking place or mute it. Either way is fine. I don't really care as long as I don't have to listen to myself fussing at myself for echoing on myself because I'm fussing at myself echoing on myself. I don't want to do that. <laughs> This part of the stream is generally a bit more laid back. Hey, we have George. What's happening, brother? Hey, George. Oh, come on. Let it work. It does seem to be working. Hell, yeah, it's working. Sorry. Hello? Hello? Is it working? Yes. God, I hate this fucking phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know exactly how you feel. <laughs> We really, really do. <laughs> Lord. Okay. Um, well, what he was asking was how to make his phone work. Do you have any suggestions? Uh, if he's got an iPhone? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pho phones are funny because uh, if you don't have a strong a strong signal, you'll get real choppy and mm. uh, you'll, you'll hate it. I even tried using my uh, MiFi to boost the signal, and that that didn't work either. And I I don't know why that didn't work, but eh, I'm not a high technology guy. <laughs> well, we got Jake. Hey, Jake. This is Untethered Live. Welcome to the show. This is Sasquatch After Dark. You are muted. You should not be muted. You should unmute yourself. <laughs> Unmute thyself. Yeah. What? What? I <laughs> see. He's my sound engineer that can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> see, he knows all this crap, and I'm like, "What do I need to make this work?" He's like, "Oh, you just, hey, you kind of sound like you're in a box." Try it again. I got to get me a uh, yeah, check. There you go. Way back. All right. Now you're coming in hot. All right. I don't know what the heck's wrong with my sound system, man. It just went all to crap all of a sudden. Dude, when I started OBS earlier, everything was fine. I went through. I built my show. I came on. I clicked on uh, Streamlabs, StreamYards, and as soon as I clicked StreamYards, OBS went to blinking. It just went yeah. to blinking like trying to get I help. had trouble last my podcast, remember? I went silent I all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. I don't know. If it's supposed Here. to work right, I paid enough for it. Yes. Yeah. No, hey, I get what you're saying. I'm way. digging the bald head. I wish yeah, I no, could pull that off. Nice, nice. Fantastic. Uh, sure, if you pull hard enough. <laughs> yeah, bless my wife's heart. She's uh, done at least 50% for me. Uh, I haven't always been the angel that I am now. That's for sure. <laughs> yes, I still remember when the black left my beard. You were certainly walking in God's graces the other day on that jetty, man. I don't know what the <laughs> hell you were. <laughs> oh shit! I wish you could could have seen it. Old Cuz was out there, damn near walking on water at low tide. I was on this jetty where it's like collecting sand. There's waves popping up on both sides of it. He's just breezing across the walk, the the damn rock, <laughs> off the rocks, like like he's one of the damn lost boys thinking happy thoughts. I was like, dude, <laughs> this man's got to be forty five if he's a day. One slip and we'll never find him. Not be this guy. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lord, stop that, Harry. We love you. Have you, you ever seen what fiddler crabs do to a human body? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that uh, I did ask what the temperature of the water was out there uh, as it's coming off the Pacific Ocean into Humboldt Bay. And it's like right at 50 degrees and under. Uh, that water's cold. So they're oh, pretty sure if, if you were to get in the water or land in that water, uh, you got to You got to be getting out of it. You got like a couple of Very minutes quickly. until. It, yes. Yeah. That's cool, dude. If I went all white, I'd rock that shit. I would rock L it out so hard. Listen, Hell, if I went, bald, I'd rock that shit real hard. Listen, I'm from Georgia. There is nothing Georgia. in the ocean that wants me in it. <laughs> Everything out there wants to eat you. Everything in the ocean wants to eat you. There's nothing out there that wants you there. <laughs> oh Lord, listen, man. I'll eat most anything. Don't eat me first. And I'll consider that in some cases, but <laughs> depends on what they're paying. Yeah, yeah. Depends on we whether I need a, the money. We're having a good old time. <laughs> We were having a great time eating the crab and the oysters till I stuck the goddamn knife in the palm of my hand. And uh, that, <coughs> heard that, about that. That, changed, that changed the mood a little bit. <laughs> I did that once. I was, uh, my faucet in my house had decided it didn't want to squirt water out anymore. So me and my infant with them decided to take a kitchen knife and stick up in it to see if there was anything lodged in it. And I'm holding yeah. it like this. And I'm wiggling this around, and I give it a good jug, and it went right through the palm of my hand. Stuck out the other side. <laughs> yeah, Lovely. yeah, yeah. I didn't say a word. I knew I deserved every bit of it. Oh, the ocean is totally edible. You can eat almost everything that's in it. Yeah, but it'll eat you, too. Okay, that's fine. It gets his shot. It's welcome to try. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to eat me from 200 miles away. That's fine, dude. I'm telling you, I love the ocean. I, I used to hate beaches because I was always getting like um, sunburned and stuff. So uh, what ended up happening is I de developed the ability to sleep during the day in the shade and just do yep. all that shit at night. You've never seen anyone more ballsy than me when I get out there in the dark. And, well, I mean, you're like, I'm not going to go swimming. I'm like, bitch, I do it at night. <laughs> <laughs> the ocean is a beautiful thing until you're sitting there on the beach pondering it and you realize that thing is a monster, and anytime it wants to, it can just swallow yep, up the land, yep. and it nothing can stop it. And I've been meaning to send it to you. I got some footage of this huge, enormous freaking stump washing out of hell in a sound. Mm. It comes out at about 11 o'clock in the morning. About six hours later, it comes back through going back in. I walked up and down the beach for two days telling everybody we had a sea monster. Its name was Helen, <laughs> and it'll be back in a couple of hours. <laughs> You should have seen the look on their face when it popped back up a few hours later. It was going back and forth the whole week. Just wafting back and bed. forth? Yeah, in the tide right there. Like some the, driftwood. The That's what it was. It was a ginormous freaking stump. We, we, I saw a couple of boats go out and check it out. But yeah, it was a so, huge normal. Harry Nuts, stump. what is your gnome de plume? What do you My do for a living? So if you have uh, checked out my channel at all, there's some, uh, I, I, I'm retired and I retired as the uh, transmission line crew foreman for a utility. Uh, so we worked on the uh, power lines, uh, 60,000 volts and from 60,000 to 500,000 volts. And line uh, so man, we, nice. A, absolutely, a lineman. And uh, there, there's some pretty cool stuff on my, on my channel there if you want to check it out. Uh, you know, flying under the helicopter, the uh, helicopters flying poles and mm. stuff like that. Uh, it, it it was it's cool. It's cool work. Very 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 for for a dumbass to stab his hand is ridiculous because we're very very safety conscious. I understand. Uh, I'm a <laughs> musician by trade. I do almost anything, but most of the time I make a jackass of myself for your entertainment. <laughs> I'm just learning how to play guitar. Sweet. Stick with it. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. She's a fickle mistress, but she'll never let you down. Nice. I like it. I like it. Oh, Jake, Jake's uh 
you know, when I did my um interesting things segments, uh, one of the reasons I did it was I wanted a better look at your car at the uh, my car. Ford English, no, his car. car. Very nice. I wanted yeah. you to do your uh your guitars. Don't you yeah. got like sixty of them now? I got a bunch of them. Yeah. Oh shit! Wow. Larry. My man's got seven, sh- something like that. Harry, listen. This motherfucker once played an engine block outside of a Waffle House and gained a crowd without realizing. He was like tinkering with the uh, with the with the carburetor, and he was he was just listening to the engine and tapping things with bits of pipe or some shit he had picked up from under the hood while he was working on it. Just That's pink, cool. Pink, 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 pink. And folks walking out, he'd reach over and like rev the engine in time with whatever the hell it was he was doing. I was sitting over there, man. I was hung over as hell drinking at the <laughs> market all day, the day before. I was just smashed, man. I was refried. And I'm just sitting there listening to that thing rev, looking at the crowd show up. I'm like, man, I don't even have a hat. <laughs> at least enough for a cup of coffee or something. <laughs> I, don't know, I, I don't know what to do. I've got a video somewhere when uh, Hurricane uh, Michael came through here or whatever it was a couple of years ago. Uh, I, I was doing a podcast. And I went out to the water. It flooded up. here. Huh? Your sound's chopping up pretty bad. Is it really? Um, I don't know what to do about it. Wiggle the, <laughs> wiggle the cord. <laughs> man, I don't want to tell you. <laughs> Hey, uh, Sasquatch, I don't want to be a bad guest and ungrateful. Uh, I do got a couple of things to get done here before I get ready for work, man. I I, I honestly, truly appreciate everything you've done for me. Oh, no, I ain't did shit for you except say, hey, how you doing? That's neat. I like that. That thing over there is pretty cool. A little bit of that and it uh, goes a long way with me. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, I'm happy, happy to do it, Harry. Happy to do it, really. I really right. do uh, I'm glad you're I having appreciate fun. it. Seeing you really go giggle, you giggle <laughs> constantly when you're like, <laughs> and I mean, uh, I've seen a grown man have that much fun with their clothes on. <laughs> it's absolutely <laughs> I, I'm I'm having fun, and as long as it's uh, as long as it's fun, I'm going to keep doing it. That's for damn sure. Mm-hmm. Well, I thank you. Well, right on, man. You You guys have a great evening, and I I greatly uh, do appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. You got any links you want to throw out before you go? Nah. Maybe maybe, maybe, uh, I'll throw them out next time or whatever. Okay. All right, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good night, everybody. So what you got going on, brother? You are muted. I think you muted yourself. Can't unmute because they chose to mute themselves. You're just muted on the thing. It's, it's no, it's on the thing. Click. Check, check. There you go. All right. You're just I muted on the it thing. It just happened. Ah, it might be uh, just the connection, man. Gremlins. The connections. Shit. Fucking gremlins. That's right. Anyway, I just oh, yeah, got home. I went today yeah. to pick up my car, so I got my car finally. Oh, cool. When you coming over? Yeah, whenever. I got to get it legal first. All right. All right. Well, good luck. Hope that works out for you. It will. <laughs> I'm happy for you. How much of the show did you get to see? Uh, about halfway through it now. I paused it so I could come talk to you because you said you wanted me to come on. Or oh, yeah, like man. you were talking to me. So, however you want to feel about it. You're just as good as the next guy at this point. I mean, it's just after hours. It's nothing. It may never, ever, ever make it anywhere other than this live stream. I don't That's know. That's fine. Give me a joke. Maybe it'll make it on. Give you a joke. Okay. If so procrastination is a bad thing, why do people teach us that the best things come to those who wait? I don't think that's a joke. True. That is, that is a profundity. Profundity? Profundation? Profound. Statement. Thank you, Cheese Bear. Yeah. Um, let's see. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat car anyway. 
I like. Thank you. Um, I was wondering when we did it like this last time, why you didn't have your background and stuff up. You just wasn't operating OBS when you were you were on. I don't even remember last time. You, 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 you was pretty tired, man. If you was just like, yeah, okay, I'm here. I'm yeah. here. I said I'd be here. <laughs> I was like, fine, oh, whatever. It's my second episode. I don't fuck. It might have been uh I just jumped on and didn't think about it. I don't know. Hmm. But it's up this now, is a, isn't it? Hold up. I'm, I'm gonna mute you for a second. I'll bring him in. Uh how you doing, brother? Good, Good brother. How are you? I'm, I'm doing decent. I'm doing decent. Can you folks hear me all right? Yeah, you, 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 you're doing pretty good. Figured we could throw this in as a test and save it. Yeah, save it. Save works. Time. Try that again. I appreciate the invite. Oh, yeah, man. I've been watching your channel for about uh, three weeks. I was waiting for you to either go live or do a new video that I was actually awake for when it came out. Your videos seem to come out at like 2 o'clock in the morning or something. <laughs> it's so I, it's there. I live really rural and a lot of times I'll I'll stick my video on upload and there's no no absolutely no telling when it's gonna come out. And right. I'm just I'm just not organized enough with my YouTube schedule to to upload ahead of time and be scheduled and stuff like that. When I first started out, I was gonna be organized and I was gonna have a schedule, man. I was gonna do this and I was gonna do that and what ends up happening is now videos go up when I got time. Right. Right. And they, right. Just, they just hit when they hit. He's got a, a channel. This is um, Shasta Valley Outdoors. This channel is um, largely like snow gear reviews, um, all kinds of camping stuff reviews, a, a general cool. like grid type, prepper type. Just Pretty general much like, thing outdoors. Kind of like with, with more camping involved. Yeah, I do yeah, pretty right much now. outdoors. I kayak, I fish, I hunt, I, I hike, the whole bit. Yeah, I, I walk little. from the door to the car. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't get out much. Excuse me. <clears throat> I my uh, back and my hip. I don't really wander out too well. I haven't been getting out that much here lately because it's just been busy, you know, but... Uh, yeah, I, I used to try to get I used to try to get videos out like twice a week and stuff, and now it's it's just when they come out now. I get it. Um, you know, been, are you in uh, Canada? Me? No, sir. Northern California. Very northern. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually I'm 20 minutes from the Oregon border. We prefer okay. to call it, we prefer to be called the state of Jefferson. Tell you the truth. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> I've read about that. You're yep. in the red part of California, then legit thing we have a, a state of jefferson movement for like the last hundred years and yep. it's become very active recently very <clears throat> i don't get real political on the show but yeah, every once in a while i'll, I'll throw a little something out there but uh, my man ain't open huh? he's doing the real deal he's, he's out there doing that thing that's yeah, cool, I, have man. Lot, I have a lot of fun i have a lot of fun and i just uh <clears throat> I stumbled upon outdoors videos on YouTube. I wasn't real familiar even with YouTube a few years ago. And I thought, well, hell, I'll start throwing some of the stuff up I do. And it, it hasn't been like crazy successful, but I get a good, a good few views on things. And I'm getting a lot of stuff to review uh, from companies and stuff like that. And it's, it's just been a lot of fun. It's been a lot I'm gonna of fun. A, uh, I'm going to do a review on my hot tub here in about another six months. I've had it about six months now. Did a little video back when I first got it. I'm gonna check it out at about oh six months, that'd be February sometime. Caucasian, that's like filming a movie in Hawaii. Oh, we're working. <laughs> what do you want? Me? Hey, no, at a thousand, at a thousand subs, I'm gonna do a hot tub stream. No joke. I mean, a hot tub stream is fine, but calling it a review is like, you know. <laughs> Hey, man, I'm going to tell you what I like about it. What a dope. <laughs> that's, 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 that's all you do, just tell people what, what your experience with something was. Well, I'll tell you what I did with it. I brought it in, set it up, used it for about a month in place. I pulled it back apart, broke it down, stored it for two weeks, got in a subfloor to put it in that's all foam, 
like jigsaw pieces so that it wouldn't be quite so bruisey when you get in and out. Put it out, re reassembled it, set it back up, um, kept it there for about three weeks, and then broke it down with the subfloor, put it all in the trunk of my wife's car, drove it to the beach, and set it up on the beach just to be an asshole. <laughs> 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 just to play sounds like a practice, man. <laughs> and film parts of that. Um, that's when I established my YouTube channel. So I've got a boatload of that footage on, on my tough camera and on my other camera over here, but I just haven't gotten to it. I just recently put together my audio, my um, editing suite, the way I wanted it. Uh, finally got my streaming gear more or less working. I've got a fat head, but I need a power source for it. This, yep. this card doesn't do it. Do I need to uh, send you a mixing I've board that's got, got phantom picked. power? I've, I've got it picked out, and once I've got the, the phantom power thing picked out, I'm once I got it ordered and get it in, I'm going to go with audacity. I'm going to put together a mixing board. I've got plenty of extra CPU power. It shouldn't even pick up. It boggles my mind that the board that you have does not use phantom power. <laughs> It ain't even got a button. You use it. It's got a little button. You guys are speaking Chinese to me. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's pretty, like I, I, said, don't even know, I don't even know what a phantom board is. I, I thought that I was something that. from Star Wars. <laughs> it is. We're Sith Lords. He's supposed to be my well, I don't, I haven't seen enough of the Star Wars to know what that is, bud. <laughs> I've only seen the first three. You ain't it's missing good. nothing. Yeah. I don't, well, no, I, saw, I did see the one. That came out uh, that had the guy with the horns in his face and stuff and the red makeup. That I did see that, but it's been so long I, do, I don't remember. My brother loves that stuff, and I just it just don't jive for me. So I, I love that. Those movies just I I never did never did dig them. Yeah, well they definitely went downhill from the old days. That's for sure. That's what I heard. I heard it got really weird. I heard it got really weird. <laughs> weird. Yes, sir. You could say it got weird. Disney. <laughs> I figured that was the nicest way to put it. Yes, sir. There's nothing wrong with weird coming from a very weird person myself. I don't see yeah, that well, yeah. I myself am strange and unusual to quote Beetlejuice. Yeah. Another great movie. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. I generally preface my introductions with I am not a normal man. Don't expect to have normal <laughs> conversations with me because I do not respond normally. I don't figure I have to tell people that. I figure this here fully discloses that. <laughs> well, I, I haven't had near as problems since I got this big filthy beard. Uh, <laughs> people just, they don't bother to stop talking to me as much. But here's the funny thing. I've been telling jokes. I've been working on my jokes by walking up to random people in public. <laughs> <laughs> and telling them a joke. They look pissed off. Hey, man, you look like you need to hear a joke. They're laughing. You look like you like jokes. Bam, see, when I used to be in a construction crew, we used to tell jokes all the time, but now I work by myself, so I'm not, I'm not as practiced. You still tell a joke. That's uh, the thing. I, I'll i troll your freaking content until I find somewhere where you told a joke that was funny, and it'll become a short at some point in time. If it takes me two years, I'll find it. I'll put something together for you. I'll put something yeah, together. No. Uh, did you I, see I one of the mandatory carry? Yeah, I did. I did. Said, I told him, I was like, send me a short joke. He's like, all right. I only, was know one one joke. <laughs> I only know the one, so here. And dude, it was three and a half minutes long. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my God. I had to cut so much out of that joke. There wasn't much of the joke left by the time I got done. But it's the base man, the purple flower. Have you heard that joke? Go ahead. Do it. Like, Not ahead. here. It'll take too long. <laughs> I don't like my channel that much anyway. <laughs> oh, there's something wrong with me. I'm damaged goods. All right. Um, but, I mean, basically, we're just talking about the equipment that I'm using to stream currently. Jake's been doing it for like three years or so off and on, and I've been doing it for about, what, two months? 
I literally oh, I, up one I day. Said that. I just I don't understand the esoteric specifics and stuff, but I, I, I got the basis of what you guys were talking about. Well, if you're not trying to do any type of a show or any type of specific streaming point, not doing video games and stuff like that, it's not it's not part of YouTube and they can bother getting. You just do it from your phone. You I run it through my phone and my laptop. And, uh, you know, it's almost like seeing a Caucasian Sasquatch that you caught in my live stream because they're only like every million years. And I hadn't done one in like a year. And just yeah, to that, see, I like two hours before that, I was like, I'm so sick of these people with this chair. I'm going to do a live stream and review it real quick and get it over with. <laughs> and uh, that that was that was a pretty pretty on the on the spur of the moment thing. I did it kind of regular for a while, and it's it's hard to do a regular show, man. I I give you guys props that do a regular show. They just seemed, every time I didn't feel like doing it when it came yeah, time to do it. We sacrifice quality for quantity. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of ride the middle of the lane there. Um, generally, what I do. It takes me about four hours to set up a 57-minute show. I might get an hour out of it. I might get an hour and a half out of it. Depends on how much the guest wants to talk and how much they want to talk about their content. So if I've got a guest that's got a laptop and he can get into YouTube parallel to the stream itself to be able to post in chat, and he doesn't have to speak a whole lot on what his content is. He can just post that stuff in chat. I can send it to the top of chat and it'll be up there and anybody that comes in will see it. If they can't do that, if they're just operating from, say, an iPhone like Paul Conservative was, when they come in, you see over here you've got that little chat box that goes to your phone. Thing. Mm -hmm. it's, that's my backstage private chat. Right? So you would um, you would you know Pin any links or whatever and put it over there. And then I would be able to copy pasta over to the um, live chat itself. And that's assuming Feezy doesn't actually outrun me to it and just post the link before we get to it. He's real good about stuff like that. Yeah, she acts like a moderator. <laughs> yeah, she's good. She's, she's, uh, I don't know. I found a real gem when I stumbled across her. I yeah, she was on the links and stuff. She was good at that. That's cool. I found her in a very strange place. I mean, I thought it was an odd place to come across good people, but it seems like the people that are there are actually very nice people. They just have a front man who's offensive as hell and shall remain nameless until he actually says I can say his name. <laughs> I don't want no smoke. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't either. That's not the type of show I'm doing. Well, so what have we got as far as content on you? We got a a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of snow camping. Yeah, I, uh, I get out. Actually, probably get out more in the winter than I do in the summer and stuff. But I can't pretty much year round. Don't blame you. Around here, winter's much safer than the summer. We got snakes. Yeah, yeah, we do too. We do too. We have rattlesnakes and and all that nonsense and mosquitoes and people. Lots of people in the summertime. We have the Pacific Crest Trail and all that nearby, so we get a lot of people in the area. <clears throat> it's a out here is hunters. Yeah, we we get a lot of hunters too. I do a lot of hunting myself. That around uh, here we got a bunch of Democrats. <laughs> we we we're starting to get Dangerous. more of them. Here. I got a Democrat joke. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Jake. You want to hear it? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. This is an early one that I never that I filmed and never posted because eh, I wasn't sure how it's fly. Mm. How many Democrats does it take to screw in a light bulb? Two hundred and forty-seven. One, but it counts for four and costs four hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. I've got a worse Republican joke that I don't think would actually fly on YouTube, so I'm not doing it tonight. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go reread the terms of service on that one. <laughs> <laughs> <It's rough. laughs> I'll 
pass. I lost my ladder. The way that stuff changes by the week, it's hard to keep up with what you're not supposed to do and say. Here's my question for you fellas. And, and I know both of y'all have been on YouTube a lot longer than I. I've got close to 300 short videos of various descriptions doing various types of things that I've either farmed or taken or used with or without permission from various sources and various locations. I edit them together. I compile them. I do that kind of stuff. If YouTube comes across something that doesn't like it, just removes it out of there like it was never there. And in compilations, you can barely tell it generally appears as like a double frame or something that wasn't there originally. You can't even remember what, you, what got edited out. It's more obvious on shows. So the type of content I produce is so wild and willy-nilly. How in the hell am I supposed to be able to tell if it's, if it's acceptable or not? I don't do children. Uh, here it is. I if it do belongs to you, it's not acceptable. That's completely acceptable. And that's what it is. I mean, if you didn't create it, you can't use it legally. It's it's depending on what you do with it. Well, that, and it also depends on whether or not they catch you. They're not always going to catch you. And some don't care. A, a lot of what I look at is like really, really, really old YouTube channels, like eight, nine, ten years old that nobody's gone through recently. I go check it out, and I look and see if there's any activity, and I link the video source into the... um into the video and stuff so that if anybody wants to go see the whole thing they can or whatever channel something i link something i try to thank you cheese bear. We're together um there's somebody on the other end that either vetoes or allows your video that everything that you create somebody looks at and most yeah. of the time they're going through it so fast they miss a lot of stuff but occasionally they'll catch you on things that don't even make sense. I got a video taken down for a Christmas song one time. I'm like, it's a Christmas a song. Time. They did it for free. They took it from somebody else. I'm doing the same thing. What are you talking about? I had a copyright claim on one of my first episodes because Jake hummed a few bars in the background. I'm not even joking. My man was like, do, 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 do. And that was it. Bam. Copyright on time. It was the only bit of music in the whole thing. Okay, fine. You can have it. That's why it's been a, a good song. Episode now. That's why I've been curious about the shorts. They put all kinds of music in there for you to use on the shorts, but I haven't done used any of it because it's like right. someone's getting trapped. <laughs> like they're trying to get you to copyright strike. See, here's the thing about shorts. When you make a short and it goes up, it, it either makes it into the feed or it doesn't. And the feed has several tiers for it to clear before it goes further. In. So you get 24 hours to get 10 views. You get 10 views, you get another 24 hours to get 50. You get those 50, you get another 24 hours to get 150,000 views or what the fuck ever. There's a curve to it. And I've only cracked... Uh, 40,000 once with one video. It was a short. And it all of it came almost directly from the feed. Here's the real kicker. This is something nobody seems to understand. Views from the feed do not add to your view time. That's hmm. why my channel looks so weird when you try to look at it on the back end. Use uh, what is it, Stream Razor or whatever. If you go look at my statistics, it looks freaky. Because I got a hundred some odd thousand views and I've only had two months and I've only got 300 subs. So it looks retarded. <laughs> the math doesn't work. I don't get very deep into the analytics and stuff, man. I'm an outdoorsman. <laughs> I got that. I, I mean, I'm the type of person, I read everything. Like, I will, by the time you come on this uh, next weekend, I will have watched, if not all of your content. Most of it. If I don't do nothing but listen to it while I'm walking my dog or, or something, I'll, I'll find some few tidbits of interesting stuff that I specifically want to ask about, something that I know cool. somebody in the chat will be interested in, and some interesting why the hell did you do that situation? I, I don't know what it'll be. I don't know yet. I've only watched a little bit of it. You've got a bunch of stuff in there. 
Yeah, I've got a quite a few videos out. And a bunch. Just, just pretty good range of topics, and I do kind of a lot of stuff. Jake's got like close to a thousand, eighteen hundred. And that's Something only like, like half of the ones he's done. The rest of them are on a hard drive somewhere. <laughs> like, okay, dude. All right. I'm, I'm telling him what you need to do is sit down, take a week or two, and just stop doing uh, uh, live streams for a couple of weeks and literally do nothing but sit there and watch some of your older content. Go find those little funny couple points. Go look at it because you can remember where it might be. I have no idea. With the earlier content, I wasn't there. And with the later stuff, I was only there every three or four days because I was like getting off smack and trying to get my life straight and shit. To be quite honest, you know. So I wasn't always there, and I can't go look look at that again. I can't do it, man. It's just it's too much. I mean, this man's got thousands of hours in the background. He's like, somebody needs to do a clip channel. Somebody else can do it, man. I got my hands full. Right. <clears throat> You've only got a million hours back there, man. I think well, you know, I'm prolific. Definitely consistent with something else. This man, this man was streaming with the Hobbit. He was over here hacking up a lung. We were finally in the middle of it. He was just like, fuck it. Turned it off and got him walked away. <laughs> I was like, well, I hope he feels better. Well, shoot, I think I, I think that live stream only like the second thing I've done since I had COVID. COVID shut me down for a long time. Oh, dude, it fucked me up. It hurt me. My yeah, left it lung cost me my voice. I still don't breathe right. I still don't breathe right. I'm huffing, puffing like me. I'm a singer by of- trade, and uh, I can't sing anymore. I mean, I literally cannot carry a tune in a bucket anymore. I work my ass off by trade, and I'm, I'm huffing and puffing all day. <laughs> yeah, I see the stuff you're out there doing, man. Mm-hmm. Like building, You're building stuff. You're making the world with your hands. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, That's it's great. I, I work... Nowadays, nowadays, a lot of what I do, I'm working for myself, and a lot of what I do is fix and repair for people. And uh, I cut firewood because I prefer to be out cutting firewood. It's actually a lot harder money than than going out and yeah, doing yeah. Handyman man work, but I'd rather be up in the hills. So I go cut firewood a lot of days when I can. And then I, I do a lot of fixing and repairing small electrical jobs and drywall patching and I, I was going to get a general contractor's license, but I just don't think I could have handled the stress. And uh, I got two small kids, and I just I want to spend a lot of time with my kids. So What you need to do is take about an hour drive north and then go out in the woods and chop down about 10 trees and start building you a log cabin right there on the spot out of those trees. You haven't seen this man's house, have you? <laughs> After the south, where you tell him what to do, man. <laughs> I think he's pretty well got it figured out. You need to check out where he's the, the mountain. I'll check him out. The, the mountain, 15 minutes, bud. I don't need to drive an hour. <laughs> he's there, dude. I'm telling you, he's he's already doing it. He's living it. He's That's doing cool. what I was wanting to do. It's cool as shit. Oh, I've watched a little bit of his stuff, and, and it's funny to me. Well, he, uh, you do these uh, – reviews out in the world like you go out away from dude you're you're so far off the fucking map to start with you could do that shit in your front yard you don't have to go do it the hard way you could literally that's what all my family (laughs) i literally have like a hundred acres of open property behind me that has mountain lions and all kinds of shit running free and i drive an hour up in the mountains (laughs) what the hell are you doing i don't know man Okay, Those trees are pretty good in my trees. <laughs> I've exactly. got juniper here. There's, there's 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 pine up there. I don't know, man. <laughs> okay. I'm not judging. I'm just asking. <laughs> you do some stuff on the property. I do do some stuff on the property, and I'm actually now that the girls are getting a little older, it's harder to get away for the campouts. And I'm going to start doing some more like uh, the, I, I've been seeing a lot of these guys do like pure, pure bushcraft shelter builds and stuff, get really good views. And I'm actually that's the kind of stuff we did as kids here, you know. Yeah, so uh, 
I was. I can legally do that on my property. You can't legally do that in the forest. Depends on what forest you're in. Well, yeah. here, here, here. I mean here. <laughs> If wow. you're in Alaska, they encourage you to do it. <laughs> Please build a house here. Chores. Take it. They they used to have homesteading here. What legal actual homesteading here, but that's not really a thing anymore. Yeah, not really. Um most part what we got going on uh, out at Pops was uh, an old school pig farm set up on what used to be a cotton plantation. And before it was cotton, it was indigo and rice. So it's a mixture of fields and swamps and bayous and stuff. But we're not anywhere near the ocean. So you wouldn't expect to see that type of environment in the middle of Georgia like that. But it's because the uh, foothills are higher in some areas than some of the mountains above us. So the water comes down and just bogs up for a little ways. And then it runs off the edge of the Piedmont. It's just a weird area. Yep, it's home. It's home. It certainly has a smell. <laughs> Definitely yep. a certain odor that you get. Yep, everything tastes different there. The tomatoes are awesome. <laughs> the tomatoes are amazing. Uh, we have these special onions called Vidalia onions. Come from nowhere else on earth. Yeah, yeah, they're like, like what? About thirty miles south of here, there is a place called Vidalia. That's all they grow. They have an onion festival twice a year. Twice a year. It's big money, dude. Big. You've money. ever had an onion in a steakhouse anywhere? You've eaten a Vidalia sweet onion, and it's not the dog. I've heard that name. Yeah, it's yeah. definitely unique. Uh oh, he's good. He'll be back. Oh, who's up? What happened? Uh, you pressed the camera off the button and uh, did the button. And, uh, oh, well, now you press the entire leave button. Now you're gone. It's a lot quieter. Yeah, well, he, uh, I have the echo cancellation turned off. Is that off. what it is? Yeah, because my, my fat head didn't work the way I thought it would. Yeah, shit's plug and play. You just throw that shit in there and it works unless you don't have the right shit. I didn't know no you way. didn't have it. I swear that thing was supposed to come with it. But when it first showed up, dude, I swear to God, I sat there, looked at it, and went, I'm missing something. There's something in that picture that's not here. And I kept looking at the picture. It was like one of those what's different things. Like I, got I was you. looking at something that wasn't here. You know what I'm saying? Like it was not in this picture. Just about every audio thing that's of pro quality that's made today has phantom power because condenser mics use phantom power. Right. And uh, right. there he is back. Sorry about that, fellas. Yeah, no, nah, it takes a little getting used to. Hey, I gotta jump off and whack off every now and then too, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, this this phone's getting ready to die, so it uh, it's starting to act funky and stuff. So I thought I'd come back on, at least say goodbye to you, fellas. Appreciate, I appreciate it. you having me on tonight, and I'm looking forward to doing it uh, here with uh, next weekend, right? No, it's not this weekend. It's the next week. This yeah. week I'm having um, double O slash Ricky Rick of Magic Treehouse. In fact, I have a little video to introduce you fellas to it. He, he did his, he did a little thing for me uh, so that I wouldn't have to try to explain it. But I tried real hard to come up with some words that would explain it, and I couldn't do it. So let me get this uh, resituated properly. And, uh, I'll show it. And then, then we might end the stream, stream on this. It's uh, like a pretty good spot to do it. Let's see. Off the TikTok and on the YouTube. All right. This is more uh, auditory than anything else. The video is not nearly as important. This is kind of what he does. Do you remember when you were 10 or 11 years old? When you didn't have a care in the world? 
and so much more seems possible. Do you remember when you got excited about what the day might bring and to see your friends? And when, when hot chocolate and marshmallow s'mores by a campfire were things that made you really excited? Do you remember before hormones kicked in and complicated everything? Imagine a place where you can be that 10 or 11 year old child again, but this time all the rights and all the privileges of a fully grown adult. There That's pervert fodder. It sounds <laughs> like it, but if you actually go and watch his live streams, there's no one underage there. All these people are adults that just don't want to. Now, now he's got rules. There's no kind of sexual anything ever. You're booted just for bringing up some bullshit about something that might be involved in Rule 34. Out, you're gone. Um, you can only get in if you can. Yeah, it's weird. I'm not saying it's not weird. I'm just saying that I'm, I'm willing to listen to the man. He's been on YouTube for several years, and he's got a decent 4,000 sub channel, and he's starting a new channel called the Magic Free House. Like, man, I don't really care how weird you are. Be weird, man. That's fine. Let your freak flag fly. Well, it's cool, cool of you to be objective, but take a hell of a lot more imagination than I got. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's not for everybody. You know, he, he makes it very clear that you kind of got to have the right mindset to get in. And I told him that if he didn't let me in, I was going to thumb him in the eye and tell my mama on him. And I didn't talk to him for two weeks. <laughs> Take my ball and go home. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> he thought it was hilarious. But he's in... um. He's somewhere in Spain, I think. Mm. You know. Definitely British. Yeah, he's definitely English, British, something. Like that. Definitely. Uh, I got him. I'm hoping to get my Benzo Hill. I'd like to have uh, Ozark Yeoman on. He's real cool. You might like him, Shasta Valley. He does uh, weird political like dissertations. The final conservative. He's he's over West Coast with y'all. Uh, Let's see. I had him on a couple of weeks ago. He's got an episode up. Um, it's it goes real light into his material because some of his material is a bit uh a bit on edge for uh, modern YouTube. <laughs> so you know, I'm not going too deep too deep into the weeds on it. But the, but the episode is pretty decent. It's, it's not bad. Um, that's the one where I first figured out what my sound was all about. Why it wasn't what it should be. Long button. Right button. All right. So uh, I've already played out the episode. This is, uh, I guess, more or less the end of Sasquatch After Dark. Um, generally, what I do when I start an episode, I'll send you the link after 7.30 Eastern, which I'm not even sure what time that would be your time probably around 4 30 i think i think you're three hours ahead of something like that um and then it, did we actually go live at 8 eastern 55 i think and we roll out for at, I try to get at least 57 minutes if, if you've got to go in the middle of it shit happens your barn catches fire whatever you know that's I'll deal with it. I've got enough material stocked up for, I generally do about 20 minutes worth of video. So like Harry came on and he talked pretty straight for a while. So I didn't have to use all my videos for the episode. And then I'll save a few for the after dark segment, which is just this. Okay, man. Uh, when we first start up, I'll, I'll be like, okay, I'm going to mute everybody and do my little intro song, and it's a different one every week, and it's usually apolitical, but sometimes if I like a particular riff, it's just a song. Um, bring you in, set you up. You've already got mod status, so if you pop yeah. up in 
in, in Friday, Saturday's live stream or when I premiere this, which should be either Saturday or Sunday. This episode that dropped tonight will premiere. And Are you making editing. everybody a mod? Uh, as uh, the guests, yes. When they come Communist. in, they, they get to be a mod and they can post their um their links and stuff in chat. You can do it too. Communist. No, no, they lose their mod status right after the episode, after the premiere. You're they Indian giving communist. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to bother me now. I don't like the way that's <laughs> from the belly. <laughs> I just figured it'd be easier for you. You know where your channel's at, and you know where all your stuff is and what your best videos are. If you've got a particular video you want to push or pick the live stream it would be easier for you to do it as a mod and i have some ferociously loyal mods that are not going to have no shit happen i don't believe it can a mod attack another mod sort of the, i think they can time each other out but for the most part i can dictate that to some extent so i've given out to date one wrench yeah and i'm only i'm only half ass there well, I guess you could count it as two since it's me with two separate profiles. Does that count? No, because the other profile hasn't come back on. That's not going to either. He's dead. There you go. One wrench. Yeah, I'll buy that. All right. No mods cannot touch other mods. See? Okay. I swear I've been timed out in a place that I was a mod. Maybe the creator did it. It was just fucking with me. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would it. Carrie's lava too, man. I mean, he's a uh, man. I had to cut half a show out because of him. It was when I first started learning how to do all these things. I accidentally clicked the button early, and we were still doing pre-show stuff. And he went through the "you can't say these words on YouTube" words. <laughs> He run them all off in a row. <laughs> and then I was like, later I was like fixing to download my thing and I went, oh, click and delete. <laughs> Just go away. That's no good. That's, That's no good. No good. no good at all. I've never been in trouble for language yet, but I, I really don't pay too close attention to what I say on most of my stuff, but. I don't I don't curse heavy or anything like that, but stuff slips out once in a while doing outdoor have, stuff, you know. If I've gotten an, a message from YouTube, it got lost in all of my comments. I'm not I haven't received a direct from YouTube email that was like other than the spam shit that was this. I don't know what it would look like. I haven't seen it. It says yeah, from you YouTube or YouTube creators or something like that. Okay. All right. That makes sense. Because I I get like newsletters and and invitations to join these different programs for the woke, like diversity <laughs> training and shit like that. I always figure if you're in trouble, it's going to show up in your dashboard somewhere. Probably yeah, that's so, yeah. For all my information. I mean, you get a big frowny face in, in your dashboard or some shit. Yeah. About that. Most thing I ever get in trouble for is copyright strikes. I haven't had one of those yet, but uh, you know, I I go out and film. Well, your content wouldn't wouldn't attract that type of attention. I mean, short of maybe hearing some music on a radio in the background, maybe. You know, that's hey, if somebody's playing a radio. I experimented yeah. with music a little bit here and there, and I kind of shied away from it because of the copyright strike thing and. Wasn't a strike, you were getting claims. I guarantee yeah. you. They don't care right. if you use the music. Like for instance, this stream tonight, I gave it the cog right out the uh right out the gate. That first song I played was Cog's most recent song. He just produced it about a week ago. It's got maybe two hundred views. I don't know. I'm probably fifty old my <laughs> I don't know. I like that tune. It's really cool. He's got another couple of good ones. One of them's called Fire. He talks about burning everything down. Is <laughs> I kind of I kind of dig it. Uh, one of them's awake. Uh, no, insomnia. That's the name of it. And it's a real cool tune. Too. But, uh, Cog, cognificent. 
cognitive talk. The cog gotcha. talk. Yeah, he, he's got a few channels. Um, but he's the reason my stream happened. Like, no bullshit. I, I've been sitting around watching you and him and, and other people making content. When I started my channel, I started it with the intent of doing something. I, I didn't know what I was going to do, but I was going to do a thing. It was going to be kind of like this and kind of like that. And something sort of like this and sort of like that. I didn't know what. And the day before we went on vacation, Cog, for some reason, Cog got a strike and he had to switch to one of his lesser channels that like I'm one of, or was at the time, one of 25 subs on. And he's like, well, you know, actually, I was having problems. He turned his camera to show his computer screen, and he went through his OBS settings right quick. And he did it, like, really fast. And it took me probably two, a month and a half to figure out exactly what it was that I saw. <laughs> so I could do something similar, but not quite so racist. Because, I mean, he's, he's got a, a dedicated fan base that are viciously loyal and they're his groupies or whatever. I'm not really one of those people, but um, I like to watch his stupid videos and I like to listen to his music. So I guess maybe I am. And auditors also. Um, Jeff is here, truth be told. Uh, ATL audits. Um, Joe Cool. Uh, Joe Cool said he was going to come on my show one day, but uh, he's famous and he doesn't always keep his date. Well, he's a camel anyway. You can't trust cam camels. Uh, he's not. Oh, man. He, he's one of the foulest motherfuckers in, in, in the central, I guess you call it Midwest Chicago. He's in Chicago. That's he's north. Like, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> he walks straight up to the cops and that. He's sweet as he could be. He is sweet as he could be. Hey, how you doing? Have a nice evening. How's everything? And the cops like, you need to step back over there. Fuck you, motherfucker! I ain't gotta do it. <laughs> Talking zero to a thousand that quick, <sighs> all over them. They don't even know what's hit them. They're just like, "Oh my god, he was so nice a second ago." <laughs> my kind of fella. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you'd like him. I swear to God, you'd like him. Uh, him and Jeff is here on it. Um, NC Tyrant Hunters is current chapter. This man. Pulls up in front of a military base. He's out there filming with his tag covered. Cops show up. What are you doing? He's like, what the fuck's it look like I'm doing? I'm baking cookies. Would you want some? What? <laughs> why on earth? Why, why ask a man holding a tripod, a bipod, best camera, what he's doing? He's clearly filming. Right. Why would you want to join into that so you can look like an idiot? I'm firmly of the opinion. Better to look like an idiot than open your mouth. And Dude, I was walking one night and I found a funnel on the road. And it was a nice funnel. There was nothing wrong with it. So I picked it up, strapped it to my belt, and kept on walking. A little bit later, I decided to take a break. So I got off the road, sat down on the curb. Here comes this cop dressing me down, wanting to know what I'm doing. He said, we had complaints of you being on the bridge back there. I was like, you mean the one that had a sidewalk that goes across it? Yeah, I was on it for a little while. <laughs> Is that against the law? No. Then he says, what's that on your back? I said, it's a funnel. He goes, what does it do? It funnels. It funnels things. Are you getting smart with me? No. You asked me what it did. That's what it does. What do you want from me? And there's no sense in none of it, man. Truth be told, to tell you straight up, man, if you're out there in the world, there is until you have broken a law, there is no need for an officer to make any form of contact. It is all right. voluntary until they can quote something that you have done. Usually they go to loitering or disorderly conduct or some crap like that. That's all. Well, I'm a grown man in a place with no curfew on the side of the road taking a break. Oh, I do. oh yeah. Here all that. They're going to talk to you no matter what you hear if you're walking anywhere. <laughs> here, they're going to leave you the hell alone. <laughs> Dude, here. This is Dude, I just, I'm just like. Well, fellas, my phone is struggling something fierce, so I'm going to have to say goodnight. But I appreciate you having me on. And it's been yeah, nice man. meeting you both. Yeah, man. Nice to meet you. Real, uh, 
a real episode here. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to it. We'll have a good time. All right, man. I'll see you next weekend. Absolutely. Have a good evening, fellas. Peace out. Don't let the grizzly bears bite your ass. No grizzlies. Only black bears here. Uh, Keep it tucked. All right. I love each and every one of you. No doubt.